Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I want to walk you through a little troubleshooting scenario I went through the other day. And it's layer one. It'll get you every time. That's what I titled this one. So I'm going to jump right in. Where and why. I mean, sorry, what and why. So while working with a client, I overheard them discussing an outdoor radio failure. And they were calling various contractors who could climb and replace the unit. It was a radio, a Wi-Fi radio up on a tower. And so they need a climber or a certified rigger that can climb up there and actually replace the equipment. So the big question around this whole point was it may take a while to get this guy there. So that meant the links down until the radio was replaced. So I asked them for a brief description of the physical connectivity, just being a little nosy while we waited for the contractor. And as they explained, I walked around curiously, just verifying cables, lightning arresters, being just, you know, validating what they saw. And I thought, hey, a second pair of eyes, there's a pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. So at one point they seemed to get annoyed and it was one guy, a senior guy, he said, don't you think we know what we're doing and the problem's the radio. The management system reported the radio's down and needs to replace. It's simple. And he said he's been through this before and it's a real simple exercise. So I calmly replied, of course you know what you're doing. I just wanted to check things out since I'm always looking for, I was looking to learn something new. And I always like to say that to people because I'm not trying to be intrusive. I'm trying to possibly learn something, possibly help them see something they missed. Who knows? And like I said, and a third pair of eyes on the problem never hurt. So the inspection. They showed me the enclosure at the bottom of the tower. I asked if I could take a peek inside. They said, sure, knock your socks off. So I noticed that burnt popcorn smell. So anybody who's done anything with electronics, you know that burnt popcorn smell, that coppery kind of plasticky burnt smell. I mean something overheated, something got fried. I asked which ethernet cable was connected to the radio and they pointed out to me. <clears throat> I noticed the POE injector light, the power light, was off. And then I mentioned it and the fellow said sometimes that injector light burns out but they're just fine. And one guy said in all my years I've never seen an injector fail so it can't be it. I love when people say that. <laughs> then I pointed out the switch port for the POE injector did not have a link light. Now they were curious and they started looking in the enclosure as well. Then I asked if I could disconnect the Ethernet cable between the switch and the PoE injector. They said, sure. The RJ45 pins were practically melted into copper globs. Look at that. Hey, that's not good. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> So then I took a look at the PoE injector and noticed that pins 3, 4, and 5 were literally blown out from the PoE port. And the conclusion is yikes. So I told the client the bad news. So it looks like there's some sort of surge. And uh, more than likely they need more than just the radio replaced. I recommended they replace the following items as well or in addition to the radio. For example, the injector is obviously damaged. That should go. The Ethernet cabling from the injector to the switch, that should obviously be replaced. The cabling from the injector to the radio, the PoE port, obviously. It's a whole new run up that tower, but you know what? Better be safe than be sorry. If that guy's climbing up there, you should be doing that. And just a little point of advice, if you ever are working with towers and you're pulling Cat 5 up a tower or Cat 6 or whatever it happens to be, please pull extra. That way they're always there, right? They did not have any extras new switch. I would put a new switch in the enclosure because obviously it got a little surge. You don't know what that really means to it. And then obviously a brand new Ethernet surge protector. And that's kind of what it looks like. There's these plastic boxes with RJ45s. And obviously this is grounded. Please make sure they're grounded. I've seen a lot of these units just bolted to a tower and they're not grounded to anything. I've already written about grounding in other articles. It's closing notes. As I always mentioned, it never hurts to go for a walk. Check things out when possible. Do not rely on management systems to tell you the all, be all and end all of what you're trying to get done. It's always a good idea to verify and validate what you are told. And that's a great consulting tip I give people all the time. Listen, 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 and then validate, validate, validate. Never forget your flashlight so you can inspect dark areas. Now with smartphones, you can just get an app and that way you've got it that way. The best troubleshooting tip I give my training sessions, use your ears, listen, and understand before doing anything. Take photos with your phone if you need to refer to equipment at a later date or for reporting. So that's it. Hope that helps. Have a good day, folks.